One, two, three, four, five. If I were to ask you to point out the simplest similarity between number three and number five, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I know the first thing that comes to my mind. They're black, and so am I. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Amani Kaya, and today I'll be discussing about the impact of diversity. Now you're probably wondering to yourself right now, Amani, what was the point of having those images as your introduction? Well, let me explain. In recent times, when I, or maybe yourself, hear or see stories about black people in the news and interacting with other racial groups, we're often flustered with the negative experiences bestowed upon them. Rarely have I, or maybe yourself, heard or seen a person of color discuss about the positive, admirable, and desirable experiences that they've gained while being black. This got me to wonder, as to why this is. And after much thought and reflection, I realized a substantial factor, something that a lot of us in this room have been exposed to, but a lot of communities are lacking. Diversity. See, nine years ago, when I first took a flight from Kenya, a country which was largely the majority, to Thailand, I became a minority. It didn't take much intelligence for my seven-year-old self to realize that there had been a huge cultural shift. I remember my first day here at ISB, standing out in front of the Panther, looking around and thinking, wow, there are a lot of foreigners in this place. Coming from a predominantly black school in Kenya, the sublime relationship between students, regardless of their race or ethnicity, was in short fascinating to me. Previously feeling like a black sheep amongst a flock when I first arrived at ISB, ISB made me feel like a black sheep amongst a colorful flock, Everyone different, everyone unique, but everyone accepting. See, when looking at the factors that make diversity so significant, inclusion and belonging are substantial. Diversity is having a seat at the table. Inclusion is having a voice. Let me say that one more time so the older folks like my parents can hear that more clearly. Diversity is having a seat at the table. Inclusion is having a voice. From the moment I stepped on to my classroom for the first time to the moment I used the bathroom for the first time, I was met with openness and welcome from the peers around me. I felt included. According to researchers at Dartmouth University, uh, kind actions not only create positivity, but can alter the perception in which one has towards another group of people, or in my experience, the kind action bestowed upon me by my peers altered the perception I had for certain racial, racial and ethnic groups. Needless to say, it was a shock when I found out that an Asian and a white boy could not only run faster than me, but jump higher than me as well. <laughs> but here at ISB, we're different. Our sense of belonging derives from the fact that we are taught to value others despite of the way they look. We are taught to have an open mind. We are taught to see diversity as an opportunity. As I mentioned previously, diversity is having a seat at the table. Inclusion is having a voice. Therefore, belonging is having that voice be heard. Belonging is a social support and acceptance that one gains from being a part of a group. Belonging is one of the greatest struggles amongst teenagers in our current modern day and age. In a book written by Carla Shalaby, Troublemakers, she addresses, through her experience of being an educator, the flaws in trying to force all students to conform to the societal behavioral norms set forth by not only their peers, but the school systems as well. But here at ISB, we're different. Our sense of belonging here derives from the fact that we are taught to value others despite the way they look. We are taught to see diversity as an opportunity, and we are taught to see diversity as not only an opportunity, but a privilege as well. Dr. Kenneth of Stanford explained, belonging is as much of a, hum as a need as food and shelter, for we are limited without the social support of others, especially when they differ in ideas from our own. 
If it's one thing that diversity has taught me, it's to be a more critical thinker, not only when interacting with others, but to be a more critical and thoughtful person when coming to my academics, seeing more than just meets the eye, not only with my academics, but with people as well. A smart man by Malcolm Forbes once said, diversity is the art of thinking independently together. Diversity of thought allows us to see a new standpoint to a situation, be more creative and crucial in creating beneficial change for society. Mahatma Gandhi stated, our ability to reach unity and diversity will be the beauty and the test of our civilization. The ability not to judge one simply based on the stereotypes we hear, the things we see, but rather of the experiences we generate is a key component in which diversity has taught me. I dare say that if diversity could be spread amongst communities all over the world, those appalling stories we read regarding racial injustices may decrease as people will start developing better relationships with one another and become more comfortable with each other. In a survey conducted by Gallup Analytics, which surveyed over 155,000 individuals in 146 countries, asking them a rather odd but simple question. Have you helped a stranger recently? And what was found was that the individuals from a more diverse community were more likely to report of having a stranger than those who are not. Showing diversity can create trust. Diversity can create generosity. And more importantly, diversity can create a better sense of community. As we move forward with our lives, I challenge that you seek diversity through a sense of inclusion and belonging, knowing full well that adversity may come, no matter if you're black, white, or Asian. Now, I can't promise that the world will be a welcoming place as ISB has been to me. Not many people have grown up in an environment that sees different perspectives as a privilege or diversity as an opportunity. We are in a special place. But we, you and I, can be the change we wish to seek in our world by carrying forward the values we've learned. That difference is good. That diversity leads to new ways of thinking. That we are all human. And if our population can live in unity, then better relationships and individuals could be developed as our strengths lie in our differences, not similarities. So go and grow together. Thank you.